Ethan Von G here hanging out with the guys from Texas Roadkill here at the KLAQ Studios and Vic. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> and Vic. <laughs> yes. Vic, we just met Vic. Vic's a good guy. Sure. Picked him up. <laughs> Are we still going to LA, right? He picked him up at a bus stop. You know, earlier. He's a cool guy. He had a sign saying, um, going to LA. Need a ride, please. <laughs> so we picked him up. I right? guess you're Thanks for taking it to LA, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need time. I see that's a ballet. I don't want to go to LA. I didn't say LA. Oh, the ballet. Oh, no. Oh, oh, see, now you're getting all technical. <laughs> now you're not ballet. Ballet. Same thing. Oh, yeah, same thing. So the guys are here to let us know about this weekend's event, uh, the Winter Music Festival for Tanya Sanchez Gear. Uh, why don't you guys tell me a little bit more about it? It's getting really excited because it's already right around the corner. Well, um... Tanya is my sister's sister-in-law. Uh, she's married to my brother Lincoln, who many of you guys know. Um, she was diagnosed with adrenal cell carcinoma cancer. It developed in her kidney, and it's already jumped into her bones. Um, pretty much by the time they detected it, it was in stage four. So it's pretty serious. Um, there's an upside to it, though. I mean, she's been in MD Anderson, Anderson in, in Houston for going on three weeks now, give or take, and they've made some remarkable, remarkable um, changes with her as far as, you know, she did one surgery, they removed a bone from her arm and replaced it with titanium, and then on her back, they pretty much had to reconstruct it. Um, fortunately, with her back, she's never going to have that curve again, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, it's always going to be, if she does bend her back, it's going to be at a 90 degree angle, because they had to do like a... Uh, some kind of weird tripod thing where they attach two titanium rods from her spine going to her hips. So, but the fact that she's she's walking a week later um, from a 12-hour surgery, that's pretty amazing. Wow, that's that's wow. that's great. The be the benefit, well, I mean, I, I I originally planned on making it one a one-day benefit, but it, I mean, within an hour of me posting things, it blew up into such a huge event. I mean, everybody, I mean, all the bands. All the musicians, all the, I mean, all the radio stations, especially KLAQ. I mean, KLAQ has been, like, with us the whole way, you know. And the way they jumped on, and it's turned into a huge festival. I mean, there's no way I can say no to, to anybody as far as, as far as, um, you know, as this band goes. So, I mean, you know, we've got 17 bands. We've got um, a Paso Underground comedy. They've got, like, eight comedians coming out, you know. We've oh, got, that's um, awesome. Tons and tons of, of business owners that are donating. I mean, all kinds of stuff to raffle guitars. Um, I've got all kinds of restaurant packages, massage packages, uh, massage and day spa packages. Somebody's working on a, mo a motorcycle, a little dirt bike motorcycle. If you can believe that, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty so I mean, the way that the way that the whole community is coming together um, for the event, it's just, it, actually to me it was um, it was humbling. Um, you know, it's one of those things where when your faith is shaken or shooken or whatever the word is, that means when you doubt the most, um, to see everybody come together, and tons of them don't even know her. But just the fact that they want to be a part of something and try to make things, do what they can do. Yeah. You know, because in, in this type of cancer, it's, it's one of those type of things that all you can do is sit back and watch. You, yeah. can't, you can't physically, like if you have kids, you know, you always want to be there, you want to be able to make things better no matter what. And it's one of those type of things that you know, you can't do anything. So, I mean, you start looking for things to do on the outside that will, will help you do it. And Tanya, my little sis, man, she's, a, she's actually become my, 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 my superhero. She, I mean, the things that she's gone through in the last couple, couple of weeks and the surgeries that she has to come, has to go through in the next couple of weeks and the radiation and chemo, and she's like bringing, she's like a, that, that young boxer coming out of the ring. She's ready to take it on. Very impressed with her. Very happy for her. And I don't, myself, don't have a doubt that she's going to make it through. Now, is she going to be here at the event? No, she won't be. She has her chemotherapy, her radiation, I'm sorry, her radiation is going to start this Friday. And whether it's a five-day treatment or a ten-day treatment will de determine when her chemotherapy will start. So, um, they're deciding, and the doctors up there at MD Anderson, that, that whole place up there is just like totally, totally amazing to me. It's like a city within a city. There's so many... So many things going on in that place. The doctors are pretty much saying that this is like the first case they've seen um, at this status that they've never seen it. I mean, 
So they're they're kind of like, okay, well, how do we handle it? How do we handle it? So I mean, their their whole thing is that you know what they want to do is try to um, use this case as a case study in the future. You know? Yeah, to help them. And they've done some some remarkable things already. That's yeah. awesome. Now, so there's a Facebook page that was started as sort of like a fan page. You know, it's a, a winter festival event for Tanya. Uh, winter musical, winter music festival for a uh, benefit for Tanya. Yeah. Okay, and um, I know that the page like totally blew up right away. Oh, People started cool. liking it, commenting, putting their support, and even they knew her or they don't know her. You know, it just, it's been amazing, you know, reading all that stuff, what people are writing and, and all yeah. that. It's like I was saying, when it, whenever, when this whole thing unfolded, I mean, I was pretty much, you know, I'm trying to put, think of how to put all this together. And inside two hours, just the response from everybody coming in and, and you know, I can do this, I can do that, just totally overwhelming. I was just sitting there like, wow, you know, I can't, you know, I mean, I know there's people out there that want to help, but... Yeah, it was, uh, it was overwhelming. It was very humbling. I saw all the bands going, hey, if you need a band, I'm here. If you need a host, if you need a this, if you, whatever you need. And after, after three days, three, four days, I pretty much had to say, you know, man, I, I really do appreciate it, but we just don't, I mean, for, even for three days, we don't have enough time. Yeah. You know, and me, and, me and Glenn, we, we, we kind of talked a little bit about maybe doing this every year, just, just from the response that, you know, that we, that we got from it. Yeah. Um, we we talked about doing it every year um, to donate to you know people that need it you know cancer patients. Um, like I said, cancer has touched me now; it never has before. You know, I mean, I've done I've done tons of benefits for for people who have cancer, and you know, because I felt like I need to you know got to give back. But now it's actually touched me, and, it's, and I've I've become a true advocate of, of cancer because because <clears throat> cancer it, sucks. It sucks bad. Yeah, it's horrible. It sucks bad. So. Now, um, one of the ways that you guys have fundraised a little bit is... <laughs> and I thank God for reminding me. Because <laughs> I totally forgot the last interview. Sorry, Mom, which is Glenn's mom. Um, this lady, my, 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 my second mom, uh, we call her Black Belt Granny on Facebook. Okay? Yep. If you guys want to check her yes, out, check definitely. her out. She's mean. Anyway, I, I, uh, I end up help instruct her in, in her martial arts. You know, right. I, was, I was lucky enough to be there to test her for her, her black belt as well. And, you know, of course, somebody got, I'm not going to mention who, somebody got the news team out there. You know, <laughs> and so, of course, I'm sparring her, and I, you know, and oh, she's not. So you got your butt kicked in the yeah, yeah, I was going to say, she got you out. She wasn't that's, that's how she won. Yeah, she, she, she won because she beat him up. She, right? Yeah, she did. She <laughs> had a couple of really good right hands on me. <laughs> She's, um, she, out of her good nature, you know, donated, she wanted to donate something. And I said, well, you know, maybe we could, you know, maybe we could make, sell some of your famous banana nut bread because I, if you guys haven't had it, oof, wait until you try it. It's, it's good. So she decided, well, okay, well, I'll take the money that I wanted to donate for and I'll make banana nut bread. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we throw that out there and within a day and a half, we sold a hundred orders banana nut bread, a hundred, at $10 a pop. Yeah, that's awesome. so, I mean, that's like, that's like some major freaking money right there, you know? $10 a pop, it was sold. So for the last, since we started for the last three weeks, I guess, she's been like baking. I mean, you go out to her house and you can smell the banana nut bread. It looked like bread. monkeys lived there. There were bananas everywhere. They have a long driveway. I mean, you can smell it from, I mean, from, yeah. from the road. I'm just like, <laughs> I wouldn't even want to get up. I'd be like, mmm, I don't know. But yeah, she she uh, she's been busting her butt making that banana bread. I can't thank you enough, Mom. I appreciate that, and it made it raised uh, uh, an amazing amount of money without even doing the benefit, you know, thus far. So I just want to say thank you. Sorry I missed it the last time, but <laughs> don't kick me in the face. <laughs> and we appreciate it. Thank you, Mom.